Welcome to our guide on getting started with DCAN, the open source data platform built on Drupal and sponsored and maintained by Civic Actions. To get started, go to getdcan.org. This brings you to the GitHub repository. Here you will find the link to the DCAN documentation. The basic requirements for DCAN are Drupal 9 or 10, MySQL, PHP, Apache, Drush, and Node. The DCAN documentation portal will give you an overview of what DCAN is and its components. To install DCAN, go to the installation instructions. You will observe that the requirements for the quick install guide are Composer, Docker, and DDEV. Setting them up will not be a part of the scope of this video, but the respective links to these projects are shared in the description text below and in the documentation. Once it is installed, we can use the DCAN DDEV add-on. Click on Get It Started with the DCAN DDEV add-on for the instructions we're going to use today. First, make a directory for your project. Today I'm going to name my project get-dcan. Next, give ddev just enough config to get started with the ddev config auto command. Next, install the dcan add-on for ddev and restart. With the Docker desktop, you can see the containers running. Now initialize the instance for the latest stable version of Drupal. and install Drupal and DCAN with the DCAN site install command. Let's launch the site and log in.
Here, you'll see that we have an instance of Drupal and Decan without the React front end installed. In order to get the front end installed, scroll down to the instructions to the section titled Decoupled Front End App Installation and Build. And in two steps, we should be ready to go. Run the install and build commands. Once complete, you'll have a fully installed instance of Decan. Here you'll observe that there is no content in the portal. Let's add some sample content. Go back to the instructions. Scroll down to add a decan into an existing project and run the drush commands to add the sample content to your instance. Make sure to run cron twice. And now your instance of decan is loaded with sample content. All right, let's take a look. You will observe that the datasets page is loaded with a series of sample datasets. Take a moment and look around and explore the sample datasets in your DCAN instance. And that concludes our getting started guide.